What is going on guys? I welcome you to iFactional.com video tutorials and uh, we are discussing uh, about HTML5 and CSS3. This is tutorial number 5 and in this tutorial we will be seeing how can we uh, link our HTML web page with our external cascading style sheet file. To do that I go to my head section and I write link rel what is the reference it is the style sheet and uh, the type is CSS slash text you just uh, have to tell your page that is the type of the file which I would like to link is a style sheet and uh, it is using a text based CSS uh, uh, file and what is the source of the or what is the reference of the file so the hyper reference of the file is ifactner.css because my file is in the same directory as template.html and that is it I save it and I refresh my page nothing happens hmm why? why because there is nothing in our CSS file so uh, a little introduction of the CSS is that you need a selector and you use curly braces and then you type the property and the value of that property and property number 2 and value of that property for example I can write uh, heading 1 and heading 1 color should be black so that is how you ra use your uh, CSS files and uh, to apply it to the global page you can use asterisk so I use asterisk and I say that the margin of our web page should be 0 pixels from top right bottom and left and the padding should also be 0 pixels so I save my web page and I go to my page and refresh it and you see that now there, uh, there is a margin and padding uh, between our web page and our logo and our text and now if I refresh it it just goes into the corner so uh, why am I doing it just remember that it is uh, good it is a good practice and it would help you a lot when you are making uh, it for different resolutions and different browsers <coughs> and uh, now let us suppose that uh, I, I just want to uh, use a uh, 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 gray background color for my whole body so I would refer to the body selector HTML tag body and I just use the property back background color gray you can refer uh, to CSS tutorials if you would like uh, to do on ifactioner.com and you would know what am I talking about I save my CSS file and go to my template.html and run it in Chrome and now see that whole of my body is gray now what uh, we would like to do is that we would like to make a division tag so that all our content is middle is aligned to the middle right now it's it's not uh, looking very good we, we want to do something like it that the uh, uh, contents are in the middle so for that we use a division tag in our template.html5 html and I use a div tag div and I give 
ਇੱਥੇ ਐਨਆਈਟੀ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਪੇਜ ਔਰ ਪੇਜ ਅੰਡਰਸਕੋਰ ਸੈਂਟਰ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਗੁੱਡ ਨੇਮ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਗਿਵ ਇਟ ਅ ਨੇਮ ਆਫ ਪੇਜ ਅੰਡਰਸਕੋਰ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਯੂਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਵੁੱਡ ਕਲੋਜ਼ ਇਟ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਦ ਬੋਡੀ ਟੈਗ ਐਂਡ you can close the division tag with slash div so now we have got div tag with an id of page underscore center and now i go to my ifectional.css file and i give i select the selector and for, to select uh, a selector with id i use a hash sign and to uh, the id uh, the name of that selector is page underscore center i think yeah page underscore center and curly braces close those curly braces and now we would like to send to our page uh, to do that i just go to the body sorry and i mm, type text align colon center and to end the statement i use semicolon i save the file and i go to template.html and i run it in chrome now see that all our contents have been centered align but what else do we need to do that we we need our content to be center align but uh our uh, it the the uh, real content should be left align so i go to my ifectional.css file and under the page underscore center container i say that it should be text align left and it is always a better practice to give the width of your page underscore center or the of your uh, uh content section so i give the width of 960 because i am designing for the resolution of 978 so it's a better practice to give it uh, to give it the width of 960 because it would be easier to divide our sections and to uh, to comment in css file you use slash static the width of our web page is 960 and left side bar would be 240 pixels i'm just commenting it for my own purposes so uh, in the future for, uh, for i would be referring it and dividing it so it's always a better practice to comment your sections or and comment your lines so i use a comment uh and i start it with slash static and it and it with static slash i save it and now i refresh it and to uh, now what happens it should be left align so text align is left and width of our page underscore center is I save this page id equals to page underscore center I check it and I just refresh it now see that our page has been left align and uh, it it has been left align because right now my resolution is less than uh, uh less than 960 pixel so it's now just on the corner of the web page if your resolution is let's suppose 1200 and 80 pixels then you would be seeing that your page is starting from here and uh, just to prove that our page is working we use the background color property background color and our background color is white i save it and now i refresh my page so now it's Mm. 
white in color and sorry about it so that is how we have been able to center our content on the page and now the maximum resolution of our page or maximum pixels our contents would be uh, uh, using is 960 pixels and in the next uh, tutorial we would start uh, stylizing our header our navigation, our left bar and our sections and articles and footers. So uh, please join me in the next tutorial. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.